Hey everyone, in this video we're going to learn about how to make use of uh, OpenAlgo MCP server directly, how we can integrate with Cloudy Desktop. So there are uh, three major requirements over here. Number one, uh, OpenAlgo should be running. And number two, you should have uh, Node.js installed in your system. You can go and check it out by going to command prompt. Uh, just type for node hyphen hyphen version and uh, you should be able to get the node if in case if you don't have node ensure that you go to node.js download and then from there you can go and download the node.js from here like whatever the os which is supporting you can go and download it from here and uh, the last and final one is nothing but the cloud so in my case i had already configured cloud right so you can able to see that the open algo is already there with 24 different functions you can also go back and check all the list of functions which are supported by open algo so if in case if you haven't done you have to go and configure it as per the instruction from the documentation i'll also give the link down below the comment section so if you go to the settings from here you can go to the developer so ensure that the configuration is done the open algo configuration is done and if in case edit configuration go and edit the configuration instruction as per the documentation you have to configure you have to configure the virtual environment path where your python code is running and you have to configure your mcp server path where your open algo mcp server is running and uh, your open algo api key and also your open algo host url so once these uh, configurations are done right now let's go to the chat section over here and then uh, we'll start with let's say i want to get the codes for reliance so codes for reliance and that should be getting me the codes of reliance not only that you are you can also access uh, all the api functionalities of open algo right so as you can see that it is fetching the codes of reliance if in case we want to know what are the list of functionalities which are supported by the open algo mcps you can go to the search tools and from here you can go and check the list of functions so all the api functions are supported over here right from placing order modifying order cancelling order sending a split order basket order right you can get the order status holdings let's say i want to get the holdings here so get the holdings so that's what i want to say here it's automatically gonna trigger the holdings and it should be fetching the holdings for me so it's fetching the holdings and i can also able to uh, say like i want to get the um, historical data for the last uh, 10 days of uh, let's say reliance in table format so that should be fetching the last 10 days of uh, reliance data in a table format of course first time any function is going to invoke I should give allow always or maybe allow once it's up to you how you want to give access to the AI tools. So you see that it's fetching the last 10 days of uh, uh, Reliance data later on you can use it for plotting the data as well. And let's say let's try and something like a complex query over here. I'm going to say like uh, uh, get the get the nifty future uh, symbol right. That's what I'm going to say here. Uh, I, I don't know what is a nifty future symbol i just want to search it out so it should trigger the search of nifty future As you can see that it's uh, triggering the nifty fut and it is trying to get me the nifty future symbol so these are like uh, open algo future symbols i can also ask for like uh, list of uh, list of uh, option expiry date for uh, nifty and that should be getting me the option expiry dates right so basically that we have an uh, open algo api for uh, triggering the uh, expiry date to get the list of expiry dates for futures and options so that way you can able to get that and not only that uh, maybe you can get the order book let's say list the order book in table format so i'll be able to place the orders as well not only that i can also uh, get the order book i can place the orders so once we done with the order book right i'll show you how to place orders as well so you can see that it's fetching you the order book as well and i'm gonna say like i want to place an order like place uh, 10 quantity of uh, nhpc 
um, in MIS. That's what I want to place. I haven't sent whether buy or sell. So whenever I don't say buy or sell automatically, it's gonna say buy. It's gonna trigger a buy over here, as you can see that. And the order is getting triggered, which I can able to see it. You can see that I'm also getting an order confirmation as well. I'm gonna trigger one more order. Let's say uh, buy uh, 20 quantity of uh, State Bank of India, right? That's what I have to say here, 20 quantity of SBN. It's gonna send me the 20 quantity of SBN over here and the execution is exactly happening in OpenAlgo. So you can go back and uh, check out in OpenAlgo that both the status are in open state. Now what I'm gonna do is like, I'm also gonna say like, I wanna cancel these pending orders. So I'm gonna say like cancel all orders. So in one shot, it's gonna cancel all the orders. Not only that, I can also square off my orders and I can modify orders. So a lot of possibilities, the endless possibilities is what that you can get over here, right? And uh, yeah, so it's it's cancelling the pending orders as you can see, like it's, it cancelled those pending orders over here. And which means if I go here, the order, all the orders has been completely got cancelled. So not just that, you can also build some sort of an, uh, let's say I want to build an uh, uh, option symbols. So I'm going to say like, uh, get the uh, nifty spot data from uh, nsc underscore index so this is supposed to get the data from the nsc index so exchange is nsc underscore index and symbol is nifty if you're going to trigger that it's get the nifty data so once the nifty data is done then i'm going to ask for an like uh, get the let's say like uh, atm option uh, strike price uh, for C and B and calculate the calculate the combined premium combined premium so I'm just trying to give an uh, slightly a complex instructions over here so basically it should figure out what symbol it is so first it is searching for the symbol for nifty 2500 CE uh, maybe I should have set the expiry date. So since I don't set the expiry date, it's trying to take the recent uh, expiry, uh, Nifty 17 July, which is able to figure out from the searching instrument. It is able to search through the instrument and it's able to search through the recent expiry and uh, it is getting the code for uh, ATM. So it's able to calculate the ATM options uh, for Nifty, which is like 2500 call option. And now we can see that it's able to figure out the 25,100 call option and put option. So th that way, it is pretty easy. It's also able to bring the OI, volume, uh, bid and ask, LTP and everything, right? And uh, uh, maybe you can also ask more uh, relevant questions. So that way, uh, Open Algo MCP is, uh, it's worth playing. Uh, let me know in comments, like uh, how your experience uh, goes through when you tried uh, open i'll go mcp maybe i will try to do more tutorials on mcp so that you'll get a fair idea about how to make use of the mcps and if in case you are very new to open i'll go or open i'll go mcp integration always the documentation is the first place so the mcp contains all the instructions for how to configure in windows how to configure in mac how to configure in linux and all those instructions are available over here and list of functionalities which are supported by open i'll go right and uh, so thank you once again for uh, uh, coming and uh, seeing this video and uh, see you in another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.